coming up this week on Beeman's Archer's Choice. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple. This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to the Archer's Choice. Hey. This week we're going to North Dakota and Double B Outfitters. <laughs> Look what I got. Look what I got. Mine's not even chewed on. That's kind of nice. You gotta like that, don't you? This week we headed back up to North Dakota. You betcha. You betcha. You betcha. Go ahead. Back up with David and John Brandt. And we once again had a great hunt. You know, someone just upstairs don't like me. Would you? <laughs> we're we're going to get into our first night hunt where you and I, we were sitting up there and we had all those deer just coming through that cornfield. We went in that box the, blind. Yeah. I don't know if I like those. That, that shooting house up yeah, there. You know, yeah. You know, a lot of times people hunt those. But well, it gets cold up there in North Dakota. You bet you. Not when we were up there, but. But it sort of confines you to, you know, yeah, you only. you can't see anything. It yeah. It way out there, which was where all the deer were at. And then we had, I deer. mean, we oh. just saw so many deer going through that cornfield. I mean, it gave us an advantage to see them all walking through there, but that was pretty cool. So should we get going? Oh yeah, let's watch another one of Vicky's hunts. First night here at Double B Outfitters in North Dakota. It's our third year up here and it's an awesome spot. We've got deer all over. Waterfall in the morning, deer hunting in the afternoon. We're in one of their new blinds that they just made up. We're strapped down with these giant webbed straps and it's a good thing it's strapped down making this funny noise because it's pretty strong winds out there and I think we'd tip over if we weren't strapped down. We're gonna sit down. We've got a good strong south wind. They said this is the only the only time that this stand is any good is in the south wind, even though we're totally enclosed. It's any other time you never see the deer around here. So we're gonna hold tight, keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully shoot a deer tonight. North Dakota, double B. Can you say a sleeper state? Stick around, Archer's Choice. We'll be back in two minutes. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, we're sitting in a blind, it's Vicky's turn, and this monster buck comes walking over the horizon. <laughs> Doesn't it, figure?
Yo, Vic, what are you doing? Waiting for something bigger? What's the matter with you? David, we had deer. We had the wide one that you were talking about uh -huh. came through, but he never really stopped. And there were so many deer, I didn't really want to like make any kind of noise and make them all run off sure. before I shot. So we didn't get, but we saw him. He's beautiful. And then we saw this giant, uh -huh. this monster. And he had, he made everything else, even that wide buck, look small. Yeah. He's huge, but he hung out in the corn. We had deer all over us. You're not going to tell me that you let him all smart you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess he could say it. Oh, that's what oh, happened. Okay. We've got a south-southeast wind today. What we've done is we're set up in the Marista Brown Blind right on the edge of a cornfield. The deer travel over the edge of this cornfield to another major food source. So hopefully this afternoon with the south-southeast wind, we'll be able to take advantage of Messer coming by. We'll keep our fingers crossed, that's all we can do. just figure doesn't it remind you of home they're always trying to figure out what we're doing Badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> we're sitting in the blind, Ralph and I, and we have all these does all around us. We're waiting for the bucks to come through, and what comes through instead? A badger, of all things. I've never seen one in the wild, and now I have to see two. Go figure. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You know, if this wasn't chewed, I think it'd be bigger than the one you found. I don't think so, but thanks. Now, the other great thing about when we go up to Double B is the waterfowl in the morning. We go with and duck I have in the to morning. give you credit. No. You, yes. No. It hurts. It really does hurt to give her credit. Get out the record book. And uh, 
you, you waylaid on some birds this year. I did. I must have been practicing. I think everybody's sending you all those cases of shells and all the practicing yeah, no, you did during the year <laughs> might have paid off. But this is I a did. Great... I, I, I did some pretty good shooting this year. I yeah. got my first Canadian. I think Freddie coaching you, teaching you how to shoot was, goose. was a lot a goose. Canadian, Canadian goose. Yes. Yeah. Whoo, that was a close one. Check out this. Wow, huh? I don't have the call this year. You okay? Check out the waterfowl footage. <laughs> Ralph, honestly, how close do you need a deer to take a shot at it? Was it not big enough? The wind wasn't blowing in your direction? Stay tuned. Archer's Choice will be right back. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now it's the last night up at Double B and we're sitting in one of their winter shooting houses where the windows are only about yay big and both Ralph and I are trying to hunt and film out of this window. We can't see any other direction, but check out what comes walking in the last night.
the last night, the last day, and the last few hours, and what happens? She does it to me again. David just came and picked us up. We're gonna go right in here and go pick up my buck. Come on, let's go. There he is. What a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> David, get in there, brother. Look it's at David. Isn't he a beautiful... Look, I saw this little kicker on him. He's a pretty deer man. <laughs> Very pretty. <laughs> man, he's got oh. a big head. Isn't he just a pig? Look how big he is. He's a huge deer. Look at how big a head he's got. Look how gray he is. <sighs> Isn't he? And I saw this. Saw the he's kicker. got a little kicker on him. I'm like, no, don't look at stuff like that, Vicky. I'm like, I think he's a 10. He's got long main beams. Real long main beams. <laughs> hey. Thank you, David. Well, that was a great shot. A great deer. Thank you. It, he was awesome. You know, one of those last night, last minute, last day kind of a deer. Actually, yeah, it wasn't last minute. I don't know. There was a great, there was a couple great deer that were still left inside of there, inside that, that cornfield yeah, there. After you had shot? That 10 point. That stood out there that we filmed, and you, your tag, you still hadn't filled yours, so we well, kind of Well, if the blind wasn't shaking around. so much from somebody, you know, that deer might have come in. What are you trying to say? Well, I just think you wrecked my chance. Maybe it's from when I hit my head. Yeah, how many times? I only hit it once, guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys are funny. We really want to thank Double B Outfitters, David and John Brandt. All the brands. And Susie and all the brands there because they really, they're a great bunch of people up there. And there North Dakota is definitely a good place to go deer hunting and, you know, and waterfowl. And that's it. And, and that's another state that there is no lottery. You know what I mean? Which is so great because a lot of us try to draw for different tags. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's over the counter is what it's you over the say. counter. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's no lottery. And I, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You see? So anyways, we just want to tell you to come back next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. On the Archer's, on the Archer's Choice. Choice. Why do you do this to me? Get out of here.